Hi, it's Steve Grizzetti again, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Rush. And here we are in part three of our five-part basic training series. We've created a mini movie here. And now that we've got our clips in order, we can do some basic assembly. We can trim them simply by hovering over the beginning or end of a clip and dragging in or out. And notice again, the timeline ripples to fill in that gap. We can slice down the middle by positioning the playhead and then clicking on the little scissors icon here on the left. That'll split the clip. And we can also do some adjustments to the clip itself. So if I select the clip on my timeline, over here on the right, we have a number of options for adjusting color, for adjusting speed, a little bit high level, but there we can speed up or slow down any portion or all of our clip. We can make adjustments to audio and we can even do some basic crop and rotation. But with that clip selected, I'm going to open up color adjustments. And here on the front page of color adjustments, there are a number of color grades. So if you just want a quick fix for your movie, you just want to give it a look that's cinematic, all you need to do is have that clip selected on the timeline and then click on the built-in preset and the program will automatically grade your movie for you, grade the color in it. And again, you can see a number of looks here that can change your movie subtly or pretty dramatically. To go back to no changes, click on none here in the upper left. You can create your own presets, by the way, if you just go to the edit tab here to the right of the presets. You have a number of controls here for adjusting exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows for softening the shadows, uh, for changing the color temperature or tint, for adding vibrance, you know, making the colors more intense or increasing or decreasing the saturation. And then underneath some effects here, a faded film effect, to give it kind of the look of an old movie where the color is kind of faded, sharpening and vignetting, you know, making it kind of darker around the edges or lighter around the edges and darker in the middle. And if you want to reset any of those, if you don't like the adjustments, all you need to do is click the reset button here. Now there are audio adjustments also for controlling the volume level, for uh, mixing several tracks of audio. Say for instance, you've got narration and music. There are tools in here for recording narration into your movie. And depending on which type you have your audio set to, so by default this is set to music for some reason, but we're gonna change it to voice. You notice you have a number of cool effects here, including the ability to reduce background noise, kind of a noise gate, uh, compression, in other words, leveling off the louder and the, and the quieter moments in your audio, or even enhancing speech if you're, if you're working with a narration track, if you've got a female voice or a male voice, just adding some real nice flavor to it. So some very cool adjustments for your audio and your video, as well as, like I say, a couple of effects, not a large library of effects, but effects for transforming your video, for cropping it, and for controlling your movie's speed. Now part four, we're gonna look at how to add titles to our movie. Stay with me for part four of our five-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Rush.